सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड द वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी करंट अफेयर्स वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर रेलिवेंट फॉर ऑल दी गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स एंड गाइज एज यू ऑल नो पी आई बी इज द मोस्ट ऑथेंटिक सोर्स इफ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दी करंट अफेयर्स सो दीज सेशन गाइज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ऑल दी गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम चाहे आप किसी भी एग्जाम की प्रिपेरेशन कर रहे हैं दीज सेशन आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू यू ओके so let's begin with the session but before we begin if you are coming here for the first time do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon you can also join this telegram group here you will get the pdf of this session after the session is completed and you can also ask any doubts here and you can also follow me here here also you can ask any doubt so let's talk about the very first question guys which says with which institute national medicinal plants board has signed an mou to promote the production of क्वालिटी प्लांटिंग मटीरियल ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स की प्लांटिंग के लिए दिस एम यू हैज बिन साइंड बाय नेशनल मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स बोर्ड एंड रिमेंबर दिस एम यू हैज बिन साइंड विद सी एस आई आर सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिक प्लांट्स विच इन शॉर्ट इज सीमैप ठीक है सी एस आई आर का इंस्टीट्यूट है सी एस आई आर सीमैप एंड डू रिमेंबर सीमैप इट इज लोकेटेड इन लखनऊ ठीक है इट इज लोकेटेड इन लखनऊ एंड दिस एम यू हैज बिन साइन बिटवीन नेशनल मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स बोर्ड एंड सी एस आई आर सी मैप विच इज लोकेटेड इन लखनऊ फॉर प्लांटिंग ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स ओके सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज इससे ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज वो क्या करेंगे कैसे करेंगे दैट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस राइट सो सी एस आई आर सी मैप इज दी करेक्ट आंसर सो हेयर यू कैन रीड दैट नेशनल मेडिसिनल प्लांट्स बोर्ड एंड सी एस आई आर सी मैप हैज साइन एन एम यू and for collaborative efforts to promote the production of quality planting material of medicinal plants okay so this was the news question number 2 pe chalte hain name the challenge that has been launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs to harness the potential of waste management sector in india under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 so as you all know the second phase of swachh bharat mission urban is going on right now and under this mission under this uh, swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 a challenge has been launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs to tap the potential of to tap the entrepreneur potential of uh, waste management sector in the country so remember guys the name of the challenge is swachh technology challenge what is the name swachh technology challenge and do remember it has been launched under swachh bharat mission urban 2.0 and what is the objective as i told you to harness the entrepreneurial potential of the waste management sector in the country and this challenge guys uh, seek seeks solutions uh, to the problems in four areas theek hai char areas mein ye challenge hoga there are four themes on which this challenge will be conducted these are social inclusion zero dump plastic waste management and transparency through digital enablement so these are the four thematic areas on which this challenge is based theek hai so this was about this news and that's why guys the correct answer should be what Swachh Technology Challenge Option C will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three. With which international organization, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, it is headed by Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri, has signed an MOU to strengthen the waste management sector in India. Once again, a question on MOU. So, in the questions of MOU, you just have to remember the organizations between which the or the MOU has been signed. and the objective and the purpose of that mou okay so here the question is regarding with which international organization this mou has been signed okay and what is the objective objective is to strengthen the waste management sector in the country so remember this international organization is united nation development program okay united nation development program and this mou has been signed for a period of 5 years that is from 2021 to 2026 and 75 swachhta kendras will be established under this mou theek hai and now you have to tell me where are the headquarters of undp and who is the current chief of undp please write down in the comments so undp is the correct answer united nation development program moving ahead to question number 4 what is the maximum limit of financial assistance that may be provided to the voluntary buddhist and tibetan organizations under the scheme of financial assistance for development of buddhist or tibet organizations now guys this news is based on one of the replies submitted by ministry of culture headed by mr g kishan reddy so <clears throat> us uh, reply mein 
the ministry the the minister talked about this scheme so that's why we are discussing it so the name of the scheme is what scheme of financial assistance for development of buddhist or tibetan organization okay remember this scheme is being implemented under the kala sanskriti vikas yojana kala sanskriti vikas yojana which is a central sector umbrella scheme for promotion of art and culture in the country of the country hamare desh ka jo art and culture hai usko promote karne ke liye uh, kala sanskriti vikas yojana is the central sector umbrella scheme and under this kala sanskriti vikas yojana this scheme of financial assistance for development of tibetan or buddhist organization is being implemented now talking about talking more about this scheme so the objective of this scheme is to strengthen the voluntary buddhist or tibetan organizations which are working towards uh, the propagation and scientific development of buddhist or tibetan culture and tradition theek hai jo ki buddhist tradition buddhist culture ko strengthen karne ka aur propagate karne ka kaam kar rahe hain unko strengthen karna theek hai un or un organizations ko strengthen karna now how this strengthening will be provided this will be provided by providing them with the financial assistance theek hai certain amount of financial assistance is being provided to the tibetan or buddhist organizations which are propagating and strengthening the buddhist or tibetan culture okay now what is the maximum limit of financial assistance that is rupees 30 lakh 30 lakh per year for an organization is provided but here do remember one thing that there is an empowered committee under the scheme there is an empowered committee under the scheme this empowered committee can increase this limit can increase this maximum limit but not uh, but not more than rupees 1 crore but not more than 1 crore so if anyone ask you that what is the maximum financial assistance so the answer would be 30 lakh theek hai but empowered committee ke paas power hai ki wo us maximum limit ko increase karke kitna kar sakte hain 1 crore but ye bahut kam hota hai aisa bahut kam hua hai aur bahut kam hota hai aur bahut kam hoga aage bhi because government will only provide this max up to this maximum limit only theek hai so here the correct answer should be what rupees 30 lakh because the question is regarding what is the maximum limit of financial assistance that, that may be provided under this particular scheme so option e will be the correct answer and please do not get confused if anyone ask you about the maximum limit of financial assistance the answer would be 30 lakh only not 1 crore theek hai 1 crore ab wo alag clause based financial assistance hai theek hai moving ahead to question number 5 which is the last question for today consider the following statements with respect to scheme for protection and preservation of endangered languages and you have to identify the correct statements now here guys agar aapne pib ki website visit kari hogi waise aapko karne ki zarurat nahi padni chahiye because i am doing it for you but still agar aapne kari hogi to this news this news was under the head of ministry of culture this news ye jo scheme ka zikr hai ये कहां पे था मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कल्चर के हेडिंग में था बट रिमेम्बर द स्कीम फॉर प्रोटेक्शन एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ इंडेंजर्ड लैंग्वेजेस इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन सिंस 2013 मतलब सिंस इट्स लॉन्च सिंस इट्स लॉन्च इन 2013 दिस स्कीम इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन सो प्लीज डू नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस स्कीम द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस स्कीम इज टू प्रोटेक्ट प्रिजर्व एंड डॉक्यूमेंट इज टू प्रोटेक्ट preserve and document all the mother tongues or the endangered languages of india spoken by less than 10000 people endangered languages ka matlab hota hai yahan pe aisi languages which is being spoken by less than 10000 people across the country that languages that uh, language is known as what endangered language so to protect preserve and document those endangered languages uh, this scheme is being implemented by ministry of education since 2013 since its launch in 2013 okay and who is the which agency is the nodal agency it is central institute of indian languages which is located in mysuru which is of course in karnataka and in the first phase 117 endangered languages are selected for their documentation for their preservation and for their protection okay so ye scheme guys important hai isme se question aa sakta hai yaad rakhna Now let's come back to the question. Then the scheme is being implemented by Ministry of Culture. No, that's that is being implemented by Ministry of Education only. It was launched in two thousand two. No, it was launched in two thousand thirteen. And Central Institute of Indian Languages, Mysuru, is the nodal agency to implement this scheme. This is absolutely correct. 
the correct answer should be what guys option d only three so i hope this question is clear and that's it for the session guys i hope all the questions are clear and again jogla session over that will be on friday because aaj ki date aaj uh, that is on jab main ye video record kar raha hu so there are not enough news to cover for tomorrow so agla session will be conducted on friday okay so i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless